the Miami Heat are one of the teams in the Eastern Conference that we talked about. Got a whole hell of a lot better in this free agency. They added a few very key pieces that makes them a contender in the East. Let's take a look. Arriving, they have Kyle Lowry, P.J. Tucker, and Markeith Morris. They also were able to re-sign Duncan Robinson, Victor Oladipo, and of course, Jimmy Butler as well. He signed up for the Max. So that brings some interesting uh, mojo. That brings some interesting additions for this Miami Heat roster that two years ago, remember, were in the NBA Finals, lost to the, the Lakers in the, in the bubble, but... They're looking to come back. They're looking to be better. This was a little bit of a down year for them. They also have Tyler Hero, of course, who was a little bit of an up and down. Bam Adebayo also uh, is coming back. So they've got some. They've got some pieces here. But what? But the biggest one, obviously, is Kyle Lowry. So what do you think about this? Kyle Lowry was he the missing piece that this team really needed? And and what is the Miami Heat ceiling? So I don't necessarily think he was the missing piece. I think that. Kyle Lowry, given what they had in Goran Dragic, like Dragic, Dragic is a solid player, don't get me wrong. But I just think that what Lowry brings to the table is Lowry was the heart and soul of Toronto. Like finding players like that, you know, hard nosed dudes who are going to dive on the floor, who are going to give it their all and everything like that, defend as small as he is. He could still, you know, he does what he can on defense. He, that's a guy who's going to give it 20 points a game. But one thing that can't be stressed enough about Lowry is his leadership. So that's something, and that's going to mesh great because he's the kind of hard nosed player that a guy like Jimmy Butler would love to play with. Just dogs, guys that are, you know, going to get their hands dirty and they're going to, they're going to play, you know, they're going to give it their all from the jump until the final buzzer. So the Lowry thing was definitely big, even though Kyle Lowry is getting up there in age though. I just think that um, his, he's going to be able to mentor some of the young guys too. Cause that's one of the biggest things that Miami has been able to do is Miami is able to find guys that are like diamonds in the rough. And you get a guy like Kyle Lowry who now, you know, he's been to the playoffs. How many years with Toronto, uh, won a championship with Toronto and everything like that. And you put him alongside Jimmy Butler and another guy who's like a, a dog, like Oladipo. They're guys who are, their work ethic is going to rub off on some of the younger guys. And this team, this is going to be a pretty gritty team. It's going to be a pretty tough out in the playoffs. Unless, of course, they have to play Giannis. And I also like, uh, before, before I turn it over to you, the biggest thing was they had to retain Duncan Robinson because Duncan Robinson is one of the best shooters, one of the best catch and shoot guys. Honestly, when I look at Duncan Robinson, dude, he's the next Kyle Korver. He's honestly, but I think he's a little bit better of a defender. So that was the biggest thing for me. Like that was one of the biggest things they had to do was resign him. And they also bought in, like you said, they bought in Keith. They bought in guys that are dogs. They got rid of some guys like Kendrick Nunn who were inconsistent guys who were just purely offensive players. And they bought in guys that if you've been paying attention to the Miami Heat and their culture and everything, they fit like dogs, that guys that you can put alongside Bam Adebayo. They're guys that are going to, you know, they're, they're not, for, they're not last in first out kind of guys in the gym. Those are PJ Tucker's another one. They're going to be, first in last out kind of guys and it's going to rub off and it's going to help them you know develop their younger guys and mentor some of the younger guys while at the same time being able to compete and be a contender in the east absolutely absolutely i, I think that they, they, these were some key acquisitions they needed to make the, the kyle lowry acquisition to me is is you know you know as far as like actual acquisition, it's the biggest move they made. But like resigning Jimmy Butler and Oladipo and 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 or and, and you know getting Oladipo and, and all these guys, like the, this team is nothing if they don't resign these guys. If they don't sign re Jimmy Butler, then they're in rebuild mode. Let's be honest. Jimmy Butler is the guy. Like th this is the situation that Jimmy Butler I think has always waited to be in in his entire career. You know, have the pieces around him with him as the guy. And see if he can go win the chip. See if he can go win the big one. And I think this is a team that I think is ready to t to take on the Nets. They they match up I think now against the Nets much better than they did last year. Much better than they would have last year. Much better than a lot of teams honestly outside the, maybe the Bucks would because they they bring this explosiveness on offense. And, and and this this determination, this grit that Jimmy Butler and players like that and and Oladipo is like the one of the, honestly one of the most underrated I think all around players in there is in the NBA like 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 as far as what he does like he's kind of that guy who's gonna go out there he can score if you need him to he can even lock people down sometimes Oladipo is a damn good defender like he can be so th there's aspects to that that I think are gonna benefit this team's gonna benefit from. 
Ky- the Kyle Lowry acquisition brings leadership, brings the experience, brings a title. Like like the the guy who's been there, won a title, been one of the main guys on a title winning team. Which even Jimmy Butler, as great as he is, hasn't done that. This is a young team. We mentioned Duncan Robinson, Tyler Hero, uh, Bam Adebayo. Like these are young guys who need who need that experience as well to kind of enlighten them a little bit on what's how to win. Because it, it is a challenge to learning how to win. There is a process to like learning what to do in these situations, what not to do. And Kyle Lowry can offer that that uh, on on the court and off the court, which is going to be important in the development of these young players as well. So if you ask me, like this team is is the team that's going to I think immediately they're gonna these moves are gonna show they're, like they're gonna they're gonna be. Like this is these are these moves are gonna actually appear the most as far as the difference from last year and this year or this coming year. Like you're gonna see the most difference in this move. I think the the Nets have their word cut or sorry the Nets have their word cut out for them. They're gonna have to see can they match up well against this team? Is it like I don't know if they can out like here's the thing can they outscore this team maybe but. Can they outgrit this team in a seven game series? It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough because this is a team that's bit, has some ballers on it. Like it, it, that's a, we 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 like to focus on talent a lot. We like to focus on the you know the, the defensive abilities and the offensive abilities of different teams. But, but but sometimes we don't look uh, as hard. Uh, um, we don't look or we don't take into account you know the determination and grit that some players have. Like if I had to pick one adjective to describe this Heat team, it's gritty. This is a team that's not afraid of anyone. And sometimes, Andrew, sometimes even in a seven-game series, given how talented this team is, they could take down anyone. This team reminds me a lot. It's a it's it, it epitomizes the Miami Heat culture that Pat Riley has instilled, dude. It reminds me a lot of like a 90s New York Knicks team. Like, you know, they don't they don't have a superstar, so to say. They have very good players, but they also have the good gritty dudes. They have the guys that are not going to be afraid to get their hands dirty. And this is going to be a team they're dude. They're going to be a tough out in the playoffs, dude. I, this is a team that you do not want to see in the first or second round of the playoffs. Like this is a team I'm telling you, dude, ta- I know a lot of people say, you know, talent often wins out, but sometimes, you know, sometimes you just need that grit, dude. Sometimes you just need that grit. I mean, dude, look at, um, who was it? Who was it? Um, Milwaukee. Look at Milwaukee when it came to going up against Brooklyn, dude. Milwaukee was dead in the water. Milwaukee, they just – guys like Giannis, dude, where, you know, Giannis is a hustle player. He's going to go all out, dude. Milwaukee won that series with grit. That's literally what it was. Like, Milwaukee's a talented team, dude. They won that series just because it, what they wanted it more. They wanted it more than Brooklyn, I would say. Yeah, yeah. And, and look – the the young factor as well like the oh here we go this happened again but this team is young this is a, like th- that's the other thing that we need to account for this is a young team that it has the ability like like to groom these kids into becoming better all around players at, at for a very cheap price and very and like like so like there's a window here for them too to be a lot more successful than people think so thanks for watching this video from real take sports talk remember to like share subscribe hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released also remember to check out our live show every single thursday at 8 p.m right here on the youtube channel and remember keep it real